All right. Hello, everyone. So it worked. <laughs> I've uh, want to do a channel update here for everybody. So it is August 18th, 2024, about one o'clock for me. <laughs> and it worked. It worked. Um, it still worked. I've done two more tests. This one is my latest one, my second one that I've done after that recording I did. The little mini four, four episode series of No Crashes. I did another one. No Crashes. And with ZZ Tong, no crashes. And this one right here is a 10K map I did. And no crashes on it either so far. Uh, there has been a couple of uh, mod updates. Um, I put back in, since it was not the Kane's, <clears throat> Kane's Wandering Horde frequency, I put it back in. So we have canes. I have not put back in improved hordes. I've decided to just pass on it this time. Um, I've added uh, I've added back in uh, by Wookie Nookie's armor set quick swap because it got updated and is now working. If uh, here we go, let's see here. Uh, it would be under B. So this is it. Basically, it, it puts these things over here on the side that you can switch to by clicking the person. And if you want to take off, it basically, it takes off the gear you have on uh, when you push the swap button and put it back on when you push it again. So that's, uh yeah, so that's all that. Um, the... Uh, that's how that works. So we can have four gears. Maybe five. It depends on if we can have a set that swaps out and then back in when we click it. We might be able to have five. Not sure. Haven't gotten to the point where I can try something like that. Um, but yes. Uh, it was it it was fun doing these tests eventually because you know i didn't crash like i was hoping um <clears throat> everything else uh i've added dies expanded back in let's see uh rings and unique relics of rings of potential unique relics are still in um i'm gonna do another episode zeros to let everyone know all of these stuff still but uh yeah um i've left all of those stuff in and everything seems to be working i am in the hank man's retreat just to see how i would want to set that up when we do a deal uh i got my uh cooking pot here and everything like that um this is all of the storage up here. I decided to set my storage up here on this little, uh, little, little uh, beam thing here. I put uh, plates underneath here so we could have the storage just set on top of the plates. And it can hold up to 12 uh, storage here and things like that. Um... I've got my um, hidden off in the back room back here. I've got my uh, lay and clean block and things like that. So we'll see how it all goes when we get it all set up. I've tested out uh, having my forge and my workbench over here in the little garage area. And it works out great. It can still reach the... Um, the crafting from container stuff that's that's usually pretty big anyway we could go like up to 130 or something meters away and we would still reach it and all stuff like that um i've looked and all of this stuff here these things right here are actually metal so when we go and make those we're going to have to uh eventually upgrade it all to metal 
on these things. These are the, let me see, let me get a copy and rotation. These are these ones, I think, the fences. Yeah, fence, oh, it's the fence centered. Or fence centered is this one here. So it's fence centered. What we have there. Uh, these things are cobblestone, so they'll stand up to a pretty good beating a little bit. Um, I've been playing um, beers, and I've really enjoyed this beers. When, uh, I'm still on like 100% loot while I'm doing my testing and everything. Definitely going to be switching back to 25% loot. But the reason why I'm interested in going through spears is spears are really good range and everything like that. But I can also get access to Lucky Looter so I can get like I can get my loot back up. It'll help us out there. Um and then the salvage operations for taking apart things and stuff like that. And then during my last test world, I actually got a treasure map to go and dig up and I went and did it. And there was a lot of stuff in there. I got a steel spear out of that, a level one steel spear with four into spear master. I didn't have any lucky looter at the time. Didn't have any treasure hunter. So, this would actually be pretty good to get as well if we ever get to the point, if we ever get like a treasure map, it would be one of the things we would want to go into and things like that. Um, I don't have points into anything else. I The reason why I have an extra strength is because, well, an extra true strength is because I did find a strength mod um, on, and I just recently got these nerd goggles. Uh, I have a ranger outfit for max health bonus. If you're still rocking the primitive gloves, I do have the ring of the seeker, which was an interesting find. It gives me a uh, loot bonus plus five and a dig radius reduction for the treasure stuff. Um, these farmer boots I just found and put on. Um, but yeah, uh, I found this. <laughs> Definitely not going to be getting this, but I found a iron crossbow like was it i think it was in there or it was over there in that farm it was either over here in this in this farm no over here in this farm or over here in this house i can't remember which i've done some various things i've marked some vending machines that worked i've cleared out a uh, rex place over here uh this is a hotel that had a working food and drink vendor um, and I went and explored a little bit up here and this place right here is where I found my cooking pot. So there was a cooking pot up here in this place. I need to try to remember which POIs have a chance of just having a cooking pot laying around because that would be the easiest way to go get one is to find that. But there's no guarantee that it'll be there. It's a random chance that one will spawn in the POI when you load in, you know, um, and things like that. Um, but this is a real nice place here. I found there are a couple of spots that I had to fix up. There was like two, um, two messed up blocks here that I fixed and replaced. And there were two over here that I fixed up and replaced. He'll die from the bleed. Um, but yeah. It's a... Uh, it's a real nice place. Uh, I was able to... Like I said, I was able to get the cooking pot and things like that. To get all this... To get all this water and everything. We do sometimes have... Like... Lots of people just... Popping in.
He should bleed out. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> like I said, sometimes there's a bunch of people around. Um. Also with a, I guess I could say with a 10k map, uh, every biome can have a mega city in it. So that helps out. Whoops, wrong way. I'm wondering if like a wonder bird is in the process of spawning here. So many zombies around. Usually there's not this much. There's like two or three, but not that much. Maybe it calm down for a second. <laughs> but yeah, uh, this is day four. No crashes whatsoever yet during my all my play. I've done, with the recorded videos, I've done um, 16 days. No, four, eight, 12, 12 days, sorry. I've done 12 days. Do that because I know that I know that window's is broken. Yeah, that's the only surprisingly that's the only window out of the all of them that are broken here. I guess I can take a look real quick to make sure about that. Sometimes I sometimes I fix that one from the outside. Um, I haven't taken down any of the pictures to see if there's like a safe or anything in here. I kind of just left it as it is. Mainly, there's a couple of things like there was a wood pile here I took up because I needed wood. There was a um, cooler type thing here that I took up. Um, things like that. I found the cooking pot. Haven't found a grill um, at all. So that's going to be another issue is finding a grill on the lower settings because of uh, it's the easiest way to get some early good food with some grilled meat. Um, before because i haven't gotten i haven't even gotten the ability to make bacon and eggs yet if you saw uh i think i'd have the ability to make grilled meat i just don't have the yeah deal and i'm like three off just need to go and raid um either restaurants or more uh things so I'm going to call it here, uh, but I just wanted to let this video out so y'all know it's going to happen. We're going to be going back into Seven Days to Die. We're going to make a brand new world and things like that, and we're going to get in there. Uh, epi we're going to do another episode zero so we could have uh, the mod, the, all the mods list, the XML changes I did, and things like that. And yeah. So uh, it's going to happen. It's going to be starting on. Sorry, it took so long. I just, I just needed to get the bug fixed. It, it was too annoying. Uh, I'm going to be starting it on the 27th of August is when we're going to be running with uh, starting the series over again. So August 27th, and we'll be starting back up on Seven Days to Die. So, yes, um, I'm still, I'm working on 
uh, Arc Ascended. I've already recorded two episodes. I've also said that I'm going to try Thursday to do a stream of it. And that might cover Friday's as well video because I'll be playing longer, most likely, on that stream. But just in case not, there might be a Friday video as well. I'm not sure yet. But yes, so we're going to be doing all of that. So I hope everybody will enjoy when the series starts up again. We're going to go back to No Traders and going back to 25% uh, loot. So we'll start it all over again and we'll have fun, hopefully without crashes this time. So I want to thank y'all for watching. I'll see y'all next time. Y'all have a nice time, whatever time it is, and y'all's part of the world. Bye.